All right, in this video, I want to show you how I precisely locate holes in this piece of plywood that I'm going to drill. First, I want to kind of give you a lay of the land and the setup I have here. So you can see that I have my extrusion. It's a, about a four foot piece of extrusion that uh, I use sometimes as a fence for my table saw that I attach to my very super cool tool, a T-square. And um, I'm using some different things here, but I just want to show you what's going on. So I built this this uh, drill press table with these replaceable inserts that uh, give you a good backer when you're drilling through holes. And um, Extrusion on the side here, That's this is 16 millimeter by 80 millimeter extrusion with a couple of grooves in it. Um, these extrusions can, can slide out and I'll show you how I did that when I, in the construction videos. But they can slide this way to give me more capacity uh, towards me. And then uh, the, ex the fence extrusion itself is held in place with these Festool quick clamps. So I have infinite adjustability that way, and your only limitation really for a fence is, is your shop and the, and the length of the extrusion you want to put on it. So you can see here, there's the quick grip clamp down there that's holding the extrusion. Um, I've, I've also uh, mounted this little extension table. It's nothing more than a piece of plywood. With the with these uh, quick grip clamps made by um, Bessie. So that, that's just to give me a little extra support out here if I wanted to run my, run my uh, one, two, three blocks out this, this way. So let's just get that positioned over there. So that's, that's how that works. So there again, that's also infinitely adjustable. Like, you know, I could make this piece of plywood be however long I wanted if I wanted to extend my table out. But for this demonstration, I'm just using that little short piece. All right, so what I want to do is locate a hole from the edge of my plywood and then precisely index from that location to another location that I need to drill my first hole. So I'm just going to pick some numbers out of the air to show you what I have in mind. But let me zoom this into the, or no, I'll take that back. I'm going to leave it out right now. That's good enough right there. All right, so what I've got chucked up is a quarter inch bit. All right, so both my stops are loose. And I'm going to bring my, my quill down and I'm going to block it up to keep it, keep it uh, down and I can use this as my registration point. I'm going to bring my board up. This board is 20 and 13 sixteenths by four and a half. Um, what you didn't see me do is I located the, the fence one inch from the from my long edge. So that's already been done. Alright, so I'm going to spring this up, kiss the edge of this bit, which I know to be a quarter of an inch. Bring my stop over. Let me make sure you're seeing that. So I'm bringing this stop over here. There, now we got it. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to lightly kiss this edge and lock it. Okay, so now I know that I am, I'll release the quill here now. I now know that with because this is a quarter inch bit, I'm one eighth inch off of center. So using my drill index, I'm going to grab an eighth inch bit, make sure I got an eighth here, yeah. I'm going to take my eighth inch spacer, put it in here, 
and index my board to now be uh, centered up on my quarter inch bit. Bring over my other stop, just gently hold that there, lock it down. There we go. Now I know that this edge, which is what I want to reference off of, is dead center of that quarter inch bit. And you can see that, I, at least I can see here, that that is right on the money, all right? Bring my index up here. Oh, we got a little play in there. There we go. So now I know this is this is going to be my my reference point now. Okay. Now I know that I'm back or I'm, I'm right where I want to be, centered up on that edge. If I wanted to drill a hole five inches from that edge, bring in my one, two, three blocks. That's three, five. I'm now precisely five inches over from this edge. And if I want to go four, or if I want to go six, there, there's six. If I want to go nine, I, I, I would then need to start re-indexing, you know, whatever I, I bring my new, bring my new point up here, like so, okay, re-index, make, make my adjustment to nine, and, and I'd be all set, okay, I'm just going to go right here, six, actually what I want to do is, uh, I'm going to go four inches, right here, so that's four, and Let's say three eighths. So I'll put my three eighths bit in here. Set my stop. There we go. Now I've got now I've got my index point there, and I can drill my hole four and three eighths. From this edge, one inch from that edge. This, this my my square is set to one inch. See that? One inch center that way. Let me readjust here to four and three eighths. There you have it. Four and three eighths from the edge to the center. So, you know, whatever, if I wanted it to be four and three eighths to the edge, then I would just simply make my adjustment on my setup. But there's four and three eighths center, edge to center of hole. So, now if I wanted to go from here and start indexing over again, um, if I would use this as my reference point, again, I'd block my quill like that. Loosen this up. Okay. There's zero. I want to index over six inches. There you go. Now I can now I'm going to be exactly six inches from this whole location, center to center to this one. And same thing applies here again, whatever you want. With these one, two, three blocks, five, four, and so on. Three, two, one. And then if you're so inclined that you wanted to do uh, you know quarter inch spacing, 
then what you would do is you'd build yourself a half inch spacer and a quarter inch spacer. So this would be five, uh, or yeah, five, then you put in your quarter inch spacer. You really wouldn't want, you really wouldn't want to do that because you're, you're drilling quarter inch holes, but uh, let's just say you want half inch spacing. Uh, you know, put in your half inch spacer, turn your block from five to six, and then you just then put in your half inch spacer um, and, and just keep re indexing. So if you have, there's one inch spacing. If you had your half inch spacer, you'd go half, one, one and a half. Two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and just keep going on up, up the line like that. So, uh, thanks for watching. I think this is a, a nice uh, addition to uh, very super cool tools uh, using our extrusion and, and your drill press table. And uh, like I said, I'll get I'll get these videos up on how I made this, but I just wanted to show you one of the ways that you can turn into a, an accurate drilling machine for you, I guess. The, uh, these one, two, three blocks are, you can find them all over the internet and uh, they're not expensive at all, but they are very accurate. So for, for drilling indexed holes, I think that uh, that's a good way to go. All right, thanks guys.